Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken, this is Operation Hush Ring, and we are going to do a storyline mission on, of course, the Army of Two Run, where we are trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with only two soldiers and two soldiers only. Uh, it has been a while since I touched the game, so here we go. Um, Dragonover plus Edgar Alien Paul in a non-timed mission should be exactly what we were looking for. Uh, the storyline missions uh, tend to take a little bit longer, so don't be terribly surprised if this year is going to be a two-part mission where we are uh, playing half of it and then the other half. It really depends how fast we're going to go through it. Um, the mission itself was marked as difficult, so I assume there's not going to be a chosen one. And it should be pretty much a walk in the park, almost, because uh, we can stand back with uh, Edgar Alien Poe and uh, snipe everyone uh, whilst Dragonover is scouting them out. Um, uh, one more info, because I did that uh, off uh, screen. Um, we skilled Untouchable, or I skilled Untouchable and invested a few points um, for. At Galleon Po. I noticed just how helpful that, uh, that skill is, and given that he uh, was close to death once or twice, I am willing to invest uh, those, uh, those few points just to make it um, more easy for him to withstand enemy shots. I'm also curious to which degree Untouchable will help us against the tracking shots. I don't know the mechanic there, uh, tracking shots from the Chosen, that is, because uh, Edgar Alien Poe can pretty much be countered uh, by the Chosen, just simply because he is very stationary and the Chosen with his tracking shots requires you to always move. But yeah, we can look into that in a different mission. I don't think that we're going to encounter the Chosen here. However, we are encountering uh, one of our XCOM operatives is going to join us, so it's three soldiers overall. And interestingly enough, we found a patrol right away. Edgar. Takes a nice little um, overwatch here. Again, we don't need to play that fast. Playing it the right way is the key. Those two were close to the uh, to the car, so we could have remote started them. I think that they are now too far away in order to do that. But we certainly could kill zone them. Yeah, too far away to hit them with a car. However, oh, let's give them one more turn. Maybe they run back into the car. Plus, this here is the end of the map, so there is really not so much more space that they can explore. I think we're going to do a classical watch trap here. Since you have a 95% chance to hit them, so that's easy. Might as well soften up the priest. There's the reveal, and with kill zone, we should have two solid hits. 
Okay, that was uh, the first solid miss. And the second solid miss. Oh, come on, really? Worst possible start. Yeah, not even the shrub, uh, not even the shrubnel will deal enough of da uh, enough damage. Um, I am asking myself. I mean, uh, this guy is still too far away, so might as well just leave it uh, as is. I don't want to risk being... I, I really don't want to use any cooldowns for this pack. Uh, this is a ridiculously easy pack. So... No. I'm actually not going to do anything. I'm just going to overwatch. That's bad news. Better be careful. That is bad news. I was wrong. The Chosen indeed joined. And this map here is pretty good for the Chosen because it's a very long map. Okay, now Edgar Allan Poe is hitting. Unfortunately, he's hitting the wrong uh, person. Eighty-one percent shot. Let's try to kill this guy. Killing the priest. Fortunately, sustenance prevents uh, the um, the holy warrior to uh, feedback to kill the trooper. Just to get a, a little bit more overview about what's happening here. Probably mind control. Stasis is also an option. You gotta love the priests, their freaking sustenance always helps them to survive. This here can be a really nice remote start. The invaders send a patrol. Tracking shot. Nope, he's still getting in position, that's fine. Moving on. And missing the 92% shot. Which brings us back to I'm on the move. The target is marked. this year. Dragonova has 100% shot. Finally finishing the priest. Your friend will join me. Don't get so excited. Those guys are a dime a dozen. On your order. 
Moving back, reloading, done. Yeah, the first pack did really not go as planned. I was hoping we would get a bit more, um, a bit cleaner setup. Edgar was missing three shots and the 92% uh, miss has certainly not helped either. Remote start is a really strong option for us to begin an encounter. Fortunately, it also somewhat requires them to go next to an explosive, uh, explosive item. That's why it does not really work out. The long watch here should trigger um, a shot because uh, they will move and that Galleon Poe can overwatch shoot one of them. I hope that that motivates them to take cover at the car. Nice little hit. Okay, we're being tracked, okay. The, I mean, that was foreseeable. That's one hit, and that's zero hits, okay. Softening him up a bit. This is a 100% shot. We have death from above. And this here would be moving out of range. So yeah, we could move out of range. Reload Overwatch. We do have Untouchable, so technically we should be able to just stand here and Overwatch. Technically that should work. Let's see if it practically uh, turns out to be true. So Edgar Alien will probably trigger the shot because he has no um, cover. One overwatch, and that's the overwatch kill. Good job. Moving up. My life is in your hands. I go where I'm needed. Yeah, we do have a bit of a lack of high ground here. Reload. And overwatch. So that's two patrols down. I think um, our operative should go and explore a little bit more. Edgar can stay behind.
So normally right in front of uh, the building there are a few packs patrolling. Oh wait, look at that. Right over here. That's a pack, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This here is a pretty secure field. Kill zone, just in case anything moves. And might as well move in with the operative. I hope that the operative will be the one taking the tracking shots for now. This should trigger an overwatch, by the way. Switching positions. Beautiful. I th Outrider is fine if she just stays over here. Moving out. Let's reload. reload. The sector pod doesn't know where the shot was coming from. So practically he cannot move into our direction. Closer. I go where you tell me. I know where you are. Hmm. Shall we pull the lead specter? Probably not. Let's continue hitting the sector port for now. Those guys are getting excited. Thank you, by the way, for getting rid of all of the cover. Much appreciated. Wow. 
immense reach with this shot. We even need to double move in order to get out. <laughs> That's a lot. Just keep uh, an eye on the two packs. I want to kill those. And I do have an idea how we can deal with the Chosen as well. He can't see Dragonova, so maybe we're just putting two uh, homing mines onto him. And then we banish him. Should be enough to completely kill him. Nice. We can't even grapple ourselves out of it. Running. Moving on target location. So Dragonova takes a couple of secure positions here within the tower. There's almost no chance that she's going to be spotted out. Now. And once the tracking shots finally come to an end, this here should work out well. <laughs> He's uh, the sector port is uh, still of the opinion that uh, there is a hidden unit somewhere around him. He's not that far off with this uh, theory. I'm having a vision. So this here could could be a um, a hit, but I'd rather kill the sector port just right away. Are we far enough away? Probably not, so let's just position ourselves here. Alright, reloading. I'm on the move. Oh. They can see us. Um, I think we should move a bit uh, further back.
This is not spotted out. We have a wall in between us. You can't run and you can't hide. I'm watching you. Fortunately, not close enough to hit this guy. This explosion here will kill him. Hopefully, will not. Um, will not reveal ourselves. Always observe your surroundings. The answer is no, it won't. Good. Gosh, that's annoying. Constantly moving from A to B. Let's get it on already. So at this point we're kind of zigzagging. Headed there now. I have sight beyond vision. Okay, I'm pretty sure we can hit it but not kill it. We have blue screen rounds. Might as well use Sting here. From the darkness a light. Good. Down to eight. This guy's probably going to take a shot and maybe even kill our operator here. So far as it has just moved, it is not using shadow form, which is good. I can see further than you think. Getting nervous yet. It's not a hundred percent kill. This here, however, is going to be a hundred percent kill reloading and let's kill it. Okay, so um, patrol of two killed, uh, another patrol of two killed here, sector port killed, that's five. Did we kill anything else? That's it for now. It's another patrol of two. I'm looking for you. Throw the hook. So moving up, I think we need to use one 
Claymore here. The Andromedon is just too heavily armored. Hmm, probably a kill zone is even a better idea. Alternatively, killing the trooper right away and shifting our one action over to Dragonova. Problem is, Dragonova doesn't have Sting anymore, so can't really hit this guy without uh, risking to get uh, to become visible so instead let's kill zone that's two potential shots I'm well aware that we might end up losing our operator here That was a risk. It's getting a bit around here. I got nothing. Thought you could hide, eh? Commander, the strike team is getting torn apart down there, and we haven't secured the package yet. Chill out, Redford. Chill out. Time is running out, Commander. Wow. Unbelievable how wide the range is. But we can play it the safe way. It's unfortunately, uh, it's very unfortunate that our operative died. The two here are a strong pack. Tried to take a shot at him uh, and use Untouchable to deflect the tracking shot, but I don't know how the mechanic works 100%. Theoretically, Untouchable should really make him Untouchable. The tracking shot has a weird mechanic, and since the tracking shot procs bleeding, I don't want to lose the entire mission just because I'm trying something new. A single movement is not enough to escape. <laughs> it's crazy.
I wanted to single move and remote start the car down there. Basically kill this guy by explosion. Nice, very solid shot. All right, moving over here. Let's get a shadow fall. Tracking shot lost? Probably not. Still looks as uh, if he would have a tracking shot. Yeah, pretty much still tracking shot is still active. Okay, I think that's a good uh, moment to call it a first half of the mission, guys. Um, I will do the remainder of uh, the mission once, um, uh, once we're in the next episode. For now, thank you a lot for having the patience and, uh, and uh, still, be, uh, still watch this run. We're, I think, in run number 75 or episode number 75. So it's a pleasure having you on board and hope to see you in the next episode. Take care and have a great evening. Bye-bye.